All right, so uh, we did assemblies, how to assemble our chassis. And now I wanna show you how to uh, insert parts and assemble that maybe you didn't create. So, um, you know, for instance, the motor mounts or the motors that I have in my, uh, in the file that I have shared with you. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and make sure we can see inside here because I'm going to put the motors inside. I don't want to delete these pieces. I, I put them out here. They're in place. But if I right click on the part, I can select hide. And same here at the top. I'll go ahead and hide this one and I'll hide the front one. Uh, if you want these to appear again, you can find the part on uh, the left side here. So part three, you can see this little eye with a slash through it. I can click that. It'll appear again. You can also use that eye to hide them. All right, so let's go ahead and insert some motor mounts. So I'm going to select insert just like before, but instead of going to my part studios, I'm going to go to other documents. All right. And uh, you can click public and then you can search for PPHS Sumo. If I've shared it with you, uh, you don't have to go to public. You can go to the shared with me option. Um, if you don't find it there, you can look under public. But here we are, it pops up, PPHS Sumo Bots Materials. So I'm gonna click that. And you'll see I've got screws, I've got uh, the battery, motor controllers. Let's look under the motor mounts. There's two motor mounts here, so I don't wanna click this. It'll insert both of them. I'm gonna click this little arrow here. It'll show me both of them. I'm gonna use the tall motor mount. I'm gonna insert one. And I'm gonna click and insert a second one. Um, I'm also going to insert motors. So let me see if I can find the motors. Motor, 508 RPM. Uh, it's the only part here, so I'm going to insert two of those. It might take a moment to load them, so be patient. Click it. Some of these parts that have more detail will take a little longer to load. You can see a little loading command there. So like I said, just be patient. There you are. Let me insert another one. There it is. All right, I'm done, so I'm gonna click the green check mark. Let's go ahead and fasten these things in place. Let's use the fasten mate. I'm going to select the bottom of my motor mount. I'm gonna use this edge right here, right in the center of this edge. I'm going to have it attach right in the center of this edge here. Just like so. You might need to uh, reorient or flip, but it looks good. So I'm going to click the green check mark. Let's do it with the other one. Pass and mate. I'm going to select this edge here and this edge right in the middle there. You'll see this is a case where I clicked everything right, but it is in the wrong orientation. Uh, this one needs to be rotated around that point. There we go. Green check mark. Now let's put those motors in place. I'm going to click my fasten mate again. I am going to select the hole where this motor will be mounted to right there. And I'm gonna select the place that needs to mount to that. So I don't wanna select the end of my motor because that this part of the, the axle needs to be through that hole. This part that I have selected lines up with this edge right here. So I'm gonna select this edge and you'll see the circle appears right in the middle of that circle. I'm gonna click it. And I can look here and that looks like it's oriented backwards. It needs to be flipped. So I'm gonna select the flip primary axis. That looks good. I could check its rotation if I want. This looks good. Uh, once again, sometimes this happens. Sometimes the two parts I'm working with, they kind of float off and away from the other things they should be attached to. If you wanna check that and have them, uh, what does it look like all assembled? You can click solve it'll do everything. There we go. So that looks good. I'm gonna click the green check mark. I'm gonna do the same thing with this motor. Fasten to mate. I'm gonna do it in the opposite order. I'm gonna select right there. And I'm going to say that it needs to go in here. I'll tell you using a mouse to reorient and move things around is really helpful when you're trying to get different angles to see how to connect. There we are. Oh, it looks like I accidentally inserted three motors. So I'm just gonna click this motor. I'm gonna press backspace and it's gone. There we go. So there we are, I've mounted my motors, everything looks good. Um, actually, here's a good opportunity to show you how to edit something you've already done. So I don't like that this motor is actually kind of rotated. I like the flat side of the motor on top. I want these two motors to match. So I'm gonna go back in, 
fastened mate number eight. If I hover over it, you can see that it highlights in orange this bracket and this motor. So this is the one that I want to mess with. I'm going to double click it. I like the way it's connected, but it needs to be uh, rotated, reoriented around that axis. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to hit solve to make sure it looks good now. Now I've got that flat part of the motor on top, so they match. I'm a big fan of symmetry here. So I'm going to click the green check mark. Everything looks good. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is remind you that uh, we did hide some parts here so we could see inside. So I want those parts to reappear. I can click them over here, the live ball, make them reappear. I'm starting to really throw together the sumo bot. Uh, it's really coming together nicely. So that's how you take parts that you didn't create from another document that has been shared with you and put them uh, into your assembly. So good luck. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.